Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Before we get to a couple of things, the National Days today and another interesting article I wanted to tell you about. You know, one thing I forgot to mention when we spoke yesterday about my visit to uh, my friend Tom's house, Candy. Yes. The ribs I ate the other day. You talk about your mother. Look at uh, you. Yes. Well, I failed to mention also that... I got a tour of his backyard where he built uh, in three days a uh, chicken coop for the family. They have five chickens in there. Oh, my. And he built it from scratch. And it's amazing. It's beautiful. He's got a oh, backup so he's job. he's a real man. A well, real man. You, not only is he a real man, but I think he found uh, another source of income. He builds these beautiful chicken coops. Wow. And wow. Then he showed me a shed that he had built and it's not even going to hold anything. It's a second shed. He's going to turn it into a bar when he starts having backyard parties again one day, Candy. Uh, he so built a bar? He built a I bar. I I get an invite. He, he built might a bar. be my new best friend. I might steal them away from you. Well, this is what I'm saying. Between that and my mother-in-law putting a hot tub in her house in Milton, Delaware, uh, you know, I, I like when my friends and family uh, build up their places because it gives me more enjoyment, Candy, more fun going forward. It's Speaking wonderful. of your in-laws, what, yes. what's happening in Delaware? Are they in phase one or phase two? or What's the story? I don't know what phase is. I mean, I, I see them, you know, occasionally. We'll FaceTime or whatever. They're... They're hunkered down, you know, like anyone else. They go to the supermarket. They go out. There's a, there's a local pool they belong to. But before you get all crazy, um, the pool opened up, and they take reservations, and they only allow, like, you know, maybe uh, uh, 10 people at a time or something. So, like, if they want to go to the pool one day, they have to reserve a space from, let's say, 1 to 3.30 you know, or something. I love that. I love yes. that. Yes. Uh, so they're doing it in, like, hour increments or, you know, so, uh, like she told me, they went to the pool the other day. There was only one other person there, and you have to make oh. a reservation to go. Oh, that's so, fabulous. I love it. Yeah. So uh, they're doing that. I mean, I don't know what phase they're in, but, um, yeah, they're just, you know, what actually was pretty cool. She sent me video from a couple weeks ago where her next door neighbor is, like, a singing teacher or something, and they did, like, a mini concert on the lawn. Um, oh, and, yeah, like this girl was singing Broadway show tunes and people were sitting in their lawn chairs watching the Broadway show tunes. She lives in a cul-de-sac. They did it right in the cul-de-sac, Candy. I was like, wow. Very cool. Wow, yeah. people are really living large. And here I sit. Yeah, they're having, they're having a good time. They are. Uh, today is National Donald Duck Day. Today's his birthday, Candy. Uh, Donald Duck was, uh, when was he... Uh, when was he born? Do we know what year Donald Duck was born? I have no idea. Uh, Donald Way Duck, before me, though. I know June, that. June 9th, 1934, Candy. Way before me. Yes. Uh, today's National Strawberry Rhubarb Pie Day. Never had it. D, you never had it? Oh, it's delicious. No. What's rhubarb? Really good. How's rhubarb? Rhubarb is it can be very sour, so it's a lot of sugar. But when you put it in with the strawberries, it does something. It's just a great flavor. All right, today's National Earl Day. We have to honor anyone named Earl. Can you think of someone, Candy? Well, my fish's name was almost going to be Earl because he's really a boy, but I gave him a girl's name, Pearl. So then I said, well, maybe I'll call him Earl, but that didn't work out. Well, it could have been Earl the Pearl Monroe, the great New York hey, Nick, Candy. Hey, yes. now you're talking. Earl the Pearl. And uh, today is um, Call Your Doctor Day. Uh, for women, primarily, to uh, make sure they're getting healthy and getting checked, okay? Call your doctor today. All right. First, I'm taking care of my tooth. Then I'll move mm. on to everything else. Okay. By the way, I just thought of James Earl Jones. Why not? There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, I saw him in an airport coming back from the Bahamas when I did a live broadcast back in 2004, 2005, something like that. Uh, he was in the airport coming back from, uh, from the Bahamas. I saw him. And he said... Fathead. I listen yes. to you every day. Of course he did. He wouldn't uh, say it like that. He said, fart her. <laughs> oh, anyway. That's right. Um, Candy, uh, I have a story about, I don't know if you'll remember this. Ten years ago, an art dealer and author hid a treasure chest worth $1 million in the Rocky Mountains. He left vague clues on where to find it in his autobiography. 
Well, many people have tried. A couple people have died trying to find it, Candy. Um, this author, Forrest Fenn, announced on Sunday, the search is over. Someone, this is his quote, someone from back east who didn't want to be revealed used the clues from a 24-line poem in his book to locate the treasure and confirmed the treasure with a photograph. Amazing. Unbelievable. I wish I thought of that. Yes, he called the autobiography The Thrill of the Chase. People tried to find, uh, you know, the treasure, and somebody has and has confirmed it. Isn't that... uh, that's incredible. I, I'd like to win a uh, a scavenger hunt. Is yeah? Have you ever won a scavenger hunt before in your life? Never. I've never been into them before. But let me tell you, this is inspiring. Yes. Yeah, somebody hide something and tell me. Uh, g- give me a chance. Something to find worthy. It. Something right. worthy. Not an egg. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so there you have it. The search uh, is over. Uh, Candy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Anything uh, special planned yes. for you? Yes. Uh, well, you know, with the allergies and the heat coming today, I don't know. I don't know. It might be a stay to stay home. Not sure. Not sure yet. <laughs> okay. Keep the I don't want to sweat closed. and sneeze at the same time. No. Watch watch that nose. AC on, windows closed. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.